Ooh, okay, so I'm here at FedEx. So I had uh, ordered two snakes from uh, Red Ridge. Um, good guy, he's been working with me and staying in touch trying to uh, get all this sorted out. Uh, so what happened is he shipped the package on Wednesday overnight for it to be delivered uh, on Thursday morning. Uh, so Thursday morning is set in transit. Um, pick up by 1040 and then at 1040 it never said to pick up then the time just magically changed to by end of day um, and then at the end of the day still no uh, pickup is still said in transit and then uh, the next day it said you know pick up today so now it's Friday it says pick up today uh, by 1030 in the morning so okay I guess it got it missed a plane or, or something like that in Memphis um, so, you know, obviously you want to get your animals as quick as possible. So you don't have to spend a lot of time, uh, in transit. Um, so, but anyway, so the, uh, tracking again, um, never, it never arrived Friday. So it ended up saying pending now. So it went from in transit to who knows where it is, right? So we started calling FedEx, f trying to figure out what's going on. And they're like, we've opened a case. We're going to call you. So nobody called of course um so i then started calling fedex my local facility here uh because it finally um uh, friday evening at six o'clock uh 554 it said that it had arrived here uh so it was in memphis tennessee and then it had arrived here uh at five o'clock or well basically six o'clock uh so i called them and said hey you know we got live animals um i i want to pick them up today i don't want them to sit here any longer they have already uh, been delayed an entire day and they're like all right we're gonna look for the package somebody will call you tonight at the very latest tomorrow morning here we are uh saturday now it's one o'clock uh in the afternoon guess who called me nobody nobody called me fedex thank you guys so guess who had a call again i called again spoke with another person because you can't call the fedex facility like it's literally right here i could have just called you know the local place and said hey do you guys have it but i can't do that i have to call the 1-800 number i have to get connected to a person off offshores uh overseas somewhere um and then they have to call the facility and then you know they talk to them and they talk to them and they talk to me and I talk to her and she talks to them. It's a complete disaster. So after an hour and a half on the phone, uh, they're like, yep, we have your package. You can come pick it up on Tuesday because this is Memorial Day weekend. So this is now, um, you know, an extra day. So they're not, they don't open for pickup on Saturday. They're closed on Sunday and then Monday they're closed because of the holiday. So that he shipped uh, the snakes on Wednesday. And they're telling me I can pick them up on Tuesday the following week, uh, which is absolutely unacceptable. So after lots of talking to this person and this person, I finally was able, uh, they found the package. They're like, yeah, you can come pick it up. So uh, they made an exception for me. Thanks, FedEx. I appreciate you bending the rules um, to do your job correctly. So um, they finally let me come pick it up. And I said, usually I pick it up at 6061. And they said, no, don't go there. You need to go to 6035 to pick it up because it's not at 6061. So I drove there instead. I walk in the building and they say, we don't do packages here. What are you doing here? You need to be over at 6061. I said, well, I specifically was told to come here to pick up a package. And he's like, we don't have packages here. Said, okay, so I go to 6061. And finally, here they are. Okay, I'm going to open them right away to make sure they're okay uh i'm quite worried actually because the uh, the weather's been okay it hasn't been super hot uh, but it's been fluctuating between like 75 and 50 so i mean i guess depending on where they've been and what kind of uh heat or cold pack is in there uh, i'm hoping they did well but man this kind of stuff fedex needs to do better you know like and and they said you know sir we'll give you a refund uh for the shipping so you're going to get a $50 refund um, for $1,400 with the snakes. What, what if they're dead? You know, like, okay, one, fine, money, whatever. You can make more money. That's no big deal. But these these snakes, man, you it's a life. 
you can't you can't be risking lives like this and just so nonchalantly being like just come get it it's, it's not a it's not a pair of shoes you know what i mean like it's it's a life this needs to be top urgent priority find this package right away uh for the safety of the animal but they don't seem to have that kind of care here i wish there was a different way to to do this but i don't think there is um yeah so this has been quite quite a uh quite an ordeal uh, but if if you have this happen to you don't give up you know keep keep calling make sure that you can come get them as soon as possible don't let them tell you no thanks guys So since they were already in my car and in the box, I actually decided to open them up on camera at home uh, just so that if there was anything wrong um, that I could send this video to Red Ridge and, you know, let them know that, hey, this is how it arrived. Check out this unboxing video. Luckily, however, they did show up in a very, very good condition as well as very well packaged. I think the packaging had a lot to do with the success of this delivery. Yeah. So this girl seems to be doing just fine. She went under her paper towel. Ooh, I want to take it. So cool little So they're like, it's actually like a freshness seal on it. Which you have to break. Can you get that? Can you get it? Yeah. Yay! She's so pretty. <clears throat> She's cold. Yeah. Is this now? Yep. She's very cool. I think her scales are gonna get more white after. So Hi, Bob. Because they, isn't that also a girl? Mm hmm. Nice. I'll put it back in. No, you can keep that. Okay. She definitely is a girl. I can feel my heart. I don't think so right now. She's too moving. She's so pretty. All right, well, good. All right, so after that big ordeal with FedEx, um, everything turned out to be fine. Uh, and I think that's mainly in part because of how good the packaging was. Uh, by Red Ridge uh, Reptile. Uh, he's been really helpful. Uh, his name is Wes. Um, if you are looking to buy reptiles, you know, just, there's some people out there that are, um, you know, kind of hard to trust, I guess, or they do an okay job. Uh, but there are some really good um, reptile vendors out there. Um, you know, you have uh, Red Ridge, uh, JMG, Jeff, uh, you got Jason from Beyond Genetics, uh, you have Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs. Uh, you have uh, Ectotherm Empire, um, all those guys are great. So uh, if you are looking for a reputable place to buy a hognose from, because we've had some bad experience as well, uh, purchasing from some questionable uh, places. Uh, so those, every single time we've received a reptile from them, they've been packaged well, uh, they've been nice and healthy animals, clean, um, you know, and that's, that's what really matters is the health uh, of the animal, of course, in the end. Uh, prices, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but the healthy animal is priceless, right? 
Uh, so what do you think of our new animals? I love them. Yeah, so what did we end up getting from Red Ridge? So we got one we named Hinata. Uh -huh. um, she is a snow, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, but I don't remember those genes. <laughs> exanthic albino. Yep, so it's a visual exanthic and a visual albino, so that's what a snow is. And then we have Najiri. She's an exanthic, 100% toffee belly. Yeah, so um, the other one is a exanthic conda. Uh, also, het toffee belly. Um, so we're gonna um, hopefully make some toxic condas and super condas from the pairing between her and Shoto. All right. Well, uh, again, Wes from uh, Red Ridge, thank you for um, you know working with us and trying to get all these uh, shipping issues sorted out. Um, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, don't let FedEx tell you no. Right? They told me no several times and I just kept calling and uh, telling them like, hey, you need to solve this and uh, finally they, they did solve it. So, uh, all right, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this doesn't happen to you. It was very stressful. Um, but yeah, in the end, it all turned out great. <laughs>